Morning guys, Sunday morning. We went fishing yesterday, Saturday. We caught two halibut. I didn't make a video. Usually I have to catch three or more halibut in order for me to post a video. So we only caught two halibut. It was a good day yesterday, beautiful weather. Uh, today, Sunday, I stayed behind working on a project that I'm doing. Making these uh, beams, balancing beams. I remember when I first wanted to get one from my boat, they're real expensive. So, I started getting some uh, L shaped aluminum material uh, and I'm putting them together, making it look like a C channel. I did this on my boat two years ago and they, it actually works pretty good so as you can see I got I got some to make today so I'm going to go ahead and make some and I'll show you how they work and I'll go step by step so I can show you how I'm doing them my intentions are for to help somebody out to have a bean on their boat so they could be happy go out there and catch some fish and it's simple it's not that hard it's not that expensive um, I came up with an idea of how to make the balancing beams as you can see right here I got two L shapes and I put them together like this And I, um, I'm going to screw it together just enough so it can hold on to it. This is the first step. It's a two by two. And I'll show you the second step. All right, this is step two. As you can see, I put a screw in here. And I put a screw on here just so you can hold on together. And um, so this is step two. And now all these holes here, I will just fill them in before I paint them, before I texture them. I put that rhino look on them. So I'll go ahead and show you step three. All right, this is step three. As you can see, I already painted it black. Again, anybody wants different colors, I could do it different colors, whatever color you want. So this is a uh, painted black, the first quote, before I spray the rhino look on them. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on step four. All right, this is step four. I already put that rhino look to it. I sprayed that rhino texture on there and gave it another um, coat of black. And I don't know if you see this, but you see the little groove from putting them together that one's going to be facing the back of the boat so in the front of the boat you have that nice look see that texture to it beautiful all right i'm gonna go ahead and show you the finished product this is the final product i got here as you can see, I already made three today. They have five uh, mounts. From the edge to here is 13 inches. And then I went from here to here is 12 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches, and back to 13. I'm going to go ahead and show you the one that I made for my boat and show you how they get installed. Cause I got these, I got these, uh, the way it works here is I got these uh, extensions with the Bass Pro Shop logo on there. And once I find out the size of your boat, uh, this goes on the mount on your boat and this comes loose. So once I find out the measurements, I put this on your boat on the mount and this goes on the this goes in the mid on, on the inside 
Then I drill the hole on the top and I put this in there and that's how you tighten it up. I know a lot of people are talking about uh, if you could uh, actually mount them for goods where they have that mount on the side on the bottom where you could just have that locking mount. So right now I'll show you the one I made for my boat. Um, here they actually work great. Hey guys, keep in mind that they're all these are eight footers. So any boat that is less than eight feet, we can make it work. Then I cut it to the size that requires for anything under eight feet. I also use uh, stainless steel screws. On all of them. And any color you want, white, black, red, blue. All right, guys, this is the way it looks. The way I did mine, I tried to do the American flag, blue on blue. I don't know if you can see the stripes. And then the stars. See, like all 50 stars. One of my buddies is asking if I could do one for him, a white one with blue and red. So I think it's going to look real good. But anyways, this is the way it works. Um, you got the mount of your boat there. So that goes in there. And then you come over here. That goes in there. And then what you do is you just push it in. Come over here. And you push it in. And there you go. You got yourself a balancing bar. If you see on mine, I got seven. I got seven mounts. Two at the end. They're flush mounts. And then I got the locking ones. So that's what it looks like. I also got those end caps so you won't see the hollow actually looks good end cap on this side too and then it's easy to remove all you have to do is Tap it here, tap it over there, and you put it back in your garage and wait for that sturgeon season, baby. Actually, you can actually troll for salmon too, or troll for stripers. So it comes convenient for three fish, salmon, stripers, and sturgeon. If you like it, Leave a comment, bottom, and I'll try to help you the best I can.